Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm a celebrity dating and relationship coach. You might recognize me from MTV or E's Famously Single. Let's talk about chemistry. Your pulse starts to race, your face is flushed, your nerves stand on end, and you feel, you swear, a magnetic pull to their lips from the moment you shake their hand, make eye contact, or even just from the second you see them. When you kiss, it feels like you're taking a drug. You're dizzy, almost high. Your chemistry is off the charts. But on a first date, that might not actually be a good thing. Chemistry is that feeling that many people mistake as in love, but it's actually a rush of self-made drugs, chemicals. I know as intoxicating and tempting as it may be, the problem with chemistry is that you can feel gravitationally pulled to the wrong person. In fact, chemistry triggers the brain in the same location as cocaine. It's a drug. It also triggers a simil similar physical reaction, the feeling of angst, sweaty palms, nervousness, a racing heart, crazy obsessive thoughts, and it's supposed to be a good thing. Then the drugs wear off, and these two people suddenly wake up, look at each other, and realize, I don't know you, and what I do know, I don't like. There's a difference between chemistry and intimacy. Intimacy is love, and it develops and grows over time and with honesty. It also endures. It's formed on a deeply rooted foundation of trust, understanding, and authenticity. Intimacy is commitment. The commitment to being committed. That's not to say you can't have both. You can develop that intimacy quickly. You can create that foundation by being open, honest, confidently vulnerable by having clarity around who you are and who you guys are and you get that through communication and with communication and clarity you have confidence in who you are and who you guys are as a couple and you have that depth you have that real foundational relationship that respect admiration adoration consistency expectation you are inspired by each other because you truly, truly know each other. You trust each other. You don't just trust them with information, you trust them with you. You trust them with your heart. That is intimacy. And you can also have the chemistry. You can have that excitement. You can have the amazingness. You can feel that chemistry towards someone because of who they are. You can feel that rush, that heat, that I want you because of who they are as a person and how they make you feel in many other ways, not just because they're hot, because of the superficial, or because of that chemical rush that happens in your brain that is fake, the drug-like sensation. You can have a lasting chemistry, a lasting attraction by being attracted to, honoring, appreciating, loving all of the many other amazing things about who they are and who you guys are as a couple. I know it's confusing and it's a lot and uh, of course we all want chemistry with the person we're with and we should have it. And there's more to relationships than just that rush. There's also the calm. And the calm is what comes from the foundational intimacy. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. You can learn more about me on my website laurelhouse.com. You can also get immediate one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, if you download the app instantgo.com forward slash dating laurel. You can follow me on Instagram at laurelhouse and Twitter and Facebook at dating laurel. I hope to see you again soon.